What is going on, everybody? Welcome Wait. back to Ted in the Pit. Today, we are at 1404 Taylor Road in Wego, New York, home of the Wego Bowl and Ted in the Pit Pro Shop. Today's video is... Alrighty, guys, today we're going to do that comparison video that you all asked for. A few of you guys wanted to see the Motive Supra versus the Lightning Blackout kind of broken down across the lanes. Um, you guys also recommended the IQ Tour, uh, IQ Pearl Ruby. I sold mine. I was not a fan of the, the Ruby. It went very forward for me. Um, so the only two comparable that I have in this kind of niche. Um, I wanted to include a Brunswick bowling ball, but I don't have one that kind of is close to the same numbers. So we're just going to do the two. Um, we have the lightning blackout from Storm. Pretty black ball, yellow writing. Motive Supra, lime green, black, gray. Um, I normally use the lightning blackout right after the Supra. Um, that's part of my transition. But um, well, you guys wanted to see it broken down, so let's start right at 20. Aim right up 10 with the Motive Supra. light mixer that's basically down 10. Everybody that follows the channel knows that's not where I like to play. Now I'm gonna grab the thumb out of the corner of Supra and then we're gonna go right up time with the lightning blackout. Now the lightning blackout in my opinion is a little bit of a ball down from the motor Supra. So I know I'm gonna have to hit this one just a little bit hard. Very comparable from downtown. Um, we're going to move. Both are really good bowling balls. Like I said, during my reviews, Motive Supra, hands down one of my favorite lower, lower volume bowling balls. Motive, uh, the Supra is one of those that um, just replaces the Supra Rally. I really like the rally. So we're going to move five left. We're going to play in between the second and third. A little bit of a flat 10 there. But you got to see the shape. We're not going to focus too much on strikes. I'm just trying to show basically the same shape across the lane with each bowling ball. Wasn't a bad shot. Wasn't great either, but wasn't bad. So now I will do the same spot, move five left, stand 25, aim in between the second and third arrow to the lightning blackout. Now the lightning blackout, like I said earlier, I do like it. The only issue I had with it was its price point. Had to make sure I got my my big duck butt out of the way, but that's two for a little storm there. That actually looks really good. Um, now we're gonna move five left with the motor super grab us. Play the third arrow. Standing thirty, targeting a fifteen board. This is where the Supra really, really thrives. For me, even though we're standing on fresh, I had to adjust my speed a little bit, but I knew that coming in. But phenomenal ball on the third arrow. It's where I like to play. So now we're gonna duplicate that with the lightning blackout here. There we go. So stand in 30, aim in 15. And as you can tell, they're both going right back and forth with each other. So 
So I use the Motive Supra before I use the Lightning Blackout because I think the Lightning Blackout handles the burnt conditions just a little bit more predictable than the Motive Supra, but I'm still talking game six, game seven era with both bowling ball. So we're gonna keep going. Five more. I'm gonna aim imagery in the third and fourth. Now you all can see why this is one of my my favorites for light volume. Even though we're on fresh, I just gotta slow it down a little bit. Still makes it a playable ball. Now we're gonna do the same thing with a lightning blackout. So what I mean by slowing it down is right now I'm probably throwing the ball right around 15 miles an hour when I normally throw 16 and a half. Blackout finally left me a 10 pin. So, but like I said, very good ball. I'm not gonna not gonna worry about striking from there. You can see the shape comparison between the two bowling balls. Hoping the angle allows you guys to see the entire shape of the ball. But these are both really good options. I like the Super Rally. I mean the Super GT a little bit more than the Lightning Blackout. We're going to keep on going. We're going to play the 4th arrow. Oh, I don't know. Higher friction surface, yes, we have good lanes. Both come off the spot very nice. Very angular. Grab my Joe Pro here. We'll play the fourth arrow with the lightning blackout as well. So, I threw that a little fast and it didn't get down lane the same way the Super did. And that's not fair to the lightning blackout. I'm going to redo that. But then again, I do think that this is part of the lane where if the oil conditions aren't quite right for the lightning blackout, you'll you see it and see it quick. And we're getting to that part of the lane where there's just too much oil for this to breathe the mix, cause the friction, and that bounce. There's just not enough energy left. But let me slow this down a little bit more. Just have to slow it down a little bit more. As you see the shape comparison, you can see where they both are very similar. I just don't have to be as speed sensitive with my uh, Rodin Super GT. The Lightning Blackout does require a little bit more speed sensitivity. Got my Joe Pope here. We're gonna keep on going. Play the fifth arrow. it a little tighter slowed it down a little bit more but you can see the shape like I'm, I'm trying to say like there's not a huge difference between these two bowling balls um, you saw it last I was trying to play four zero there and the playing the blackout didn't really want to make that corner so until I slowed it down so we're gonna try to do it again here with a fifth. You're gonna see Joe, this is where the difference is, really. Give it to me. Alright, well, like I said, slowing them both down, you can see how, how comparable they are. I mean, there's no real point to keep going. That was a fifth. I, I guess we can go more. Try the six down. A little bit of a ten there. 
but sixth arrow, pretty much fresh house. Uh, the point of being that heat, especially this week of a bowling ball. But we'll try it with the lightning blackout. See what this one does because I've never played this deeply in a lot. Super GT. Um, comparable numbers, not identical. I think uh, the Motor Super GT handles oil a little bit better than the Lightning Blackout. I think the lightning blackout requires a little bit more of drier conditions to get uh, that more continuous usable line with it. That's why I use it right after I use the Super GT. The Motive Super GT just handles a little bit of oil better. I think they're both quick off the spot on the back end really nice. I like that really a lot about them. Um, Super GT for me is more of the ideal light oil bowling ball next to the thrill and the hustle. But the, the Super is phenomenal. I'm going to play the same spot that I threw the lightning. same speed and that thing drove where the lightning blackout kind of floated like you can tell the difference between the two especially when you have them right next to each other lightning blackout is just a little bit of a ball down in my opinion from the super gt they play very well it's the same bag if you're looking for that option if you want to be that close together with your arsenal but a lot of people don't. Normally I will choose one or the other for my tournament bag. All depends on what I'm bowling on, the volume, the ML, whatever. But that is basically the mode of Super GT compared to the Lightning Blackout from Storm. Both are very good bowling balls. I gave them both high reviews. I like the Motive Super GT price point a little bit better than I do the, the Storm Lightning Blackout for what I'm getting. They're both not an entry level price. They're not an entry level bowling ball by any means. They just handle lighter volume better than other equipment. been so focused on collecting my speed to get across the lane that yeah. but anyway lightning blackout motive super gt heads up compared to against each other both are really good i'm not going to pick one over the other if i had to i would pick the super gt comfortable with a Super GT. I'm very comfortable with the Lightning Blackout too. It just gives me a little bit more on higher value than what the Lightning Blackout does. But other than that, other than that they're both very good, lower volume, drier, burnt condition bowling balls, in my opinion. Where I have had a couple of instances where there was not enough oil for the Super, it became too much where I was desired to play and the Lightning Blackout came right in, played almost the same line, but wasn't as much on the back end, and it finished it out very well for me. Like I said, they're, they're really close to each other to have them in the same bag, but if you do have them in the same bag, 
you can have that transition piece very well. I, I, I carry, carry both of them when I was trying to get reviews on them and to compare them for this video, I was carrying them both, I was throwing them both. So that is how I got to really compare them and break them down. Putting a couple of games on them, I could see the difference heads head up against each other where the Motive Super just handles a little bit more oil better than the Storm Lightning Blackout. But that being said, they're both phenomenal pieces, both really good. I like them both, I both gave them both high reviews. But that would be my take on the Motive Super GT compared to the Lightning Black Blackout. Thank you all for coming by and checking out the video. Like I said, we're blunt, we're honest, I can compare the two brands because I'm not on staff with anybody. I don't have to sell them up or upsell them to make my sponsors happy. We don't have them either. Blunt, honest opinion, both really good bowling balls. You can't go wrong with either one in my opinion. I just think the Motive Super GT is a little bit better than the Lightning Blackout. But that being said, if you wouldn't mind, like, share, subscribe, hit the post notification bell, and we'll see you all next time.